today's a day for review videos apparently um i was doing review videos on some excavators and then i thought man i haven't i did a video on this coffin trailer when i first bought it and i really haven't done anything since and there really isn't a whole lot of information out there about the coffin trailers uh so uh this trailer is a 2021 built very beginning of 21 ordered in 2020 um i bought a bigger peter build so i'm gonna need a bigger trailer now um and i'm 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 almost 100 percent positive i'm gonna buy a kaufman uh you look at the prices of so many of the other brands you can buy used trailers so many used trailers are rotted out i don't have time to be rebuilding trailers it's, I've, I've done that enough times in my life I'm, I'm kind of over it um there's some other cheaper brands out there that are e pretty much same price uh pitts dorsey uh which are the same trailer um they're pretty good trailers too from what i've been told a friend of mine has one um they're well built trailers the kaufman trailer it's a very good built trailer um you know for people that want to turn their nose up and you know you know if it's not a fontaine or a talbert or some high-end brand trailer it, it's not worth it i i think you're you're doing yourself a huge disservice by not looking at a kaufman especially if you're i mean if you're over the road you know hauling big stuff everywhere across the country i mean i'm sure the kaufman would do it um they're always real easy to work with if you if you want a custom trailer built i was super satisfied with how they uh accommodated some of the changes i wanted to make with this without a huge upcharge um and they were just really nice really super nice easy to work with and i think that that goes a long way you're not working through uh, a dealer trying to the dealer's trying to talk to the manufacturer you know you're talking directly to the manufacturer you you talk to the guys that are designing the trailers and um i i can't say enough good in that aspect for stuff like that um this one has a pony motor they actually built this one a little shorter for me this lower deck is only 22 feet close to 24 um and i did that simply because i wanted the trailer to be a little easier to get around for being a local trailer uh this is one of their paver trailers that would typically have wood up the back um i asked them to put diamond plate on here and they did um they do normally put steel up a lot of their other trailers this one they put diamond plate on for me diamond plate steel either one would suit the cleats were kind of important we opened up the center for a boom trough which is super handy i mean I use every day I haul an excavator and you know I, I need that area um since this is not a really big trailer I just had a plate put here so there's no actual boom trough for stuff to sit in um just a plate so you're not resting on boards um obviously the plate has held up really well um for everything the 220 size excavators you know all the way down to some smaller stuff by opening up the center, you have some room here with a couple I-beams coming across that made it a perfect spot to have chain trays. So I had them put uh, um, bottoms in there so we could have chain trays in there. No big deal. They were glad to do it. Um, these are grease packed hubs from Kaufman. I don't know if they still do that. Um, I did have one wheel seal go, go bad on the other side and I did convert that to an oil hub. Um, but all that's been really good. I'm trying to think how many miles are on this trailer. If I bought this in 21, this trailer probably has about 20,000 miles on it. Um, Cause it, it mainly is the one that gets pulled. Maybe somewhere in that range. It, it gets used enough, um, but it's just local. I mean, I don't, I don't go really far. Um, I had him put D rings on the back here. Super important. like. I use that all the time to chain stuff down. I, I wish there was a, an extra spot on the outside to chain stuff down to. Um, but that those D-rings are super important. Um, air ride works really well. Uh, when you pull your 
air valve to put set your parking brakes the air does dump on the trailer so when you go to unload you're not fighting with having airbags that are full um, again the paver ramps um, make it really nice to load equipment up here and especially other trucks if you're hauling semi trucks ever for for people or you buy other semi trucks and you want to haul them whether you have a, a three axle 50 or 55 ton or just the two axle trailer um, that makes it super handy to run trucks up there um, i hauled dump trucks like that semi trucks if you have peter built with fairly low bumpers you can drive them up usually um, so for a lot of what i do just the versatility of it is is really nice this is a 22 inch loaded deck height at its lowest point um and that that pretty well does hold true i've measured it before with a load on and it sits at 22 inches you know with a good forty-five thousand pounds on it it'll you know it's it's there um Let's see, what else? We have a chain tray at the front, um, toolbox. I mean, that works fine. You know, we have chains and stuff in there. Uh, keep all that stuff greased. That works fine. I will say, um, if you got rid of that Kaufman name, that neck would look a lot like a Landall neck. Um, so... I don't know if anybody else has ever noticed that, but if I buy a 55 ton or we'll have a longer neck, uh, this is a new truck. I did have, well, I still have it, but my old truck was just a standard tandem axle truck. That's why I only bought a 35. <clears throat> but buying bigger equipment, this be, this was a really good deal. So I, I, I snagged this thing and uh, now I'm going to have to find a, a bigger trailer, which I was down there looking at some. I'm um, just trying to decide what deck height trailer I want to go with and do I want to sell this trailer and just have the 55 ton or have two low boys. I don't know. Uh, and perhaps maybe I'm waiting to see what happens with, with an election before I spend too much money. But uh, pony motor on this one, uh, you know, you don't have to get that super handy though. It works really well. Um, three years later, I've serviced it. I've taken care of it. I did change the battery, um, but it still runs like a top. Uh, you know, I, I have no complaints there. It, it'll pick up anything you put on it. Um, I've never actually had it hooked to the hydraulics of any of my tractors because my trucks are long and it was really easy to use the pony motor. Plus, if I, any of my friends need to use the trailer... Um, it just it's versatile they can come get it they don't have to worry about hooking hoses up to it um you know i can't say I, I don't think i've ever used the outriggers i mean i've hauled oversized machines with this but i've never put boards on it um yeah it's a super good trailer for the money if you're looking for a decent trailer that's not going to break the bank and uh still be a good reliable trailer and uh, you know and it's not 20 years old and rotting away uh by kaufman uh, they're, they're definitely worth looking at if it, you don't see what if you don't see something that suits your needs i'm sure they'd be glad to build you something um you know you could take one of the ones that they do make and uh, adjust it accordingly kind of like what i did here and uh we, we did put aluminum wheels on this one too um they really need to be cleaned and polished but the whole trailer needs a bath but that's three about three and a half years of use and uh so it's still a good trailer um paint's fading a little bit but that's with anything if i keep it probably probably be worth sandblasting paint it in a couple years just to keep ahead of it or I sell it and go buy another one. It's whatever. But um, I did have a feller buncher on here. That's one other thing I wanted to say. I had a 70,000 pound feller buncher on here for the neighbor. Um, the neighbor does some tree work and logging. And he had a feller buncher. We moved it off the mountain up there. Back to his place. And um, 
it was, it was, it was, the trailer was at its limit, obviously. Um, but it did it. And it did not, I have a picture of it somewhere. I was actually using the other tractor because this truck I just got not long ago. Um, you know, it flexed. It did not have a negative arch with 70,000 pound feller buncher on it. You know, it, it, it held that feller buncher well. Um, so there's the three and a half year review on a Kaufman trailer. Um, if you're looking for a quality trailer, definitely, definitely check them out. I think it's uh, a good trailer for the money. So thanks guys.